Okay, Cancers. The overall energy of this reading, the Four of Pentacles. Being weighed down by financial problems? Or are we just kind of stuck in one place and not moving forward? So let's find out why the Four of Pentacles surrounds your entire reading. Up here in your highest energy, the Two of Cups. Wow, this is a soulmate card of friends with love. And it's a, it's just such a great soulmate card. It's like when you look into each other's eyes, that's the connection. You've known each other before in another life, at least one other life. But there is a friend with love here involved in your reading. It's sitting right next to the King of Cups. This is your energy, Cancer. Uh, this is the energy of having a huge cup of love for a soulmate, but you're really kind of holding back. You're holding back a little bit on that. So male or female, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is what this card represents, but this is your reading. This is high in your energy. This is you. I feel like you're just not quite fully into this uh relationship you're just not ready to hand out that full cup of love that's a big cup it's bigger than these cups the empress is right next to the king of cups so the empress is the card for libra or taurus so one of those might be strong in your chart or around this reading <coughs> excuse me um, but the energy of the empress male or female is if you're a parent, you are an excellent parent. You have beautiful qualities about you. You are kind and considerate and loving and thoughtful and giving and forgiving. And I can go on and on. You have so many lovely qualities. Now, for the right person to hand this cup of love out to, it, they need to have a lot of the same qualities that you do. So perhaps you're wondering if they do or not. Under the Two of Cups is the Three of Wands. You're wondering if they are your ship that has come in. Is this who you've been waiting for to hand that huge cup of love out to? But you're just kind of stuck in this wondering state of whether or not they are your ship. So it's right next to the Four of Pentacles. So that's what you're kind of stuck. You're stuck holding on to that cup of love and you're stuck wondering if... They are your ship that has come in. On the other side of this Four of Pentacles is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is under the Empress. There's been pain. I think this is why you're holding back uh, that big cup of love. I think that's why you're kind of stuck in before moving forward here. Uh, because you've gotten past something else. There was a lot of pain in your life be before. And it had to do with love, because that's where you're holding back at, that giant cup. You have a lot of love in you. Um, so, But this is the ten, which is great. That means that these swords should cycle out. Under the three of wands is the fool card. So you're, you're, you're doubting yourself. You're doubting your own feelings here. Um, the fool is the energy of bouncing along with your head in the clouds, enjoying every moment as it arises, not looking toward the future, just looking up and, and, and just, you know, the sun in the face, dancing along. But what happens to the fool many times, they find themselves at the edge of this cliff. And then it's like, wow, I should have looked forward. <laughs> I shouldn't have been looking up this whole time. So I think you're wondering if you are in this energy of the fool right now, of whether you're seeing things the way you should be seeing things with this soulmate up here. This fool card is right next to the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is under this feeling stuck, not really being able to move forward or backward. You're just kind of stuck in one place. It's next to the fool card. So you're wondering if you're seeing this cup of love in this highest energy that the soulmate has for you. And this could be a best friend and soulmate, okay? You're wondering if you're seeing the cup as a sincere love offer or if they have a fish in it. And that's what's holding you back. It's holding you back from handing out your love entirely. Um, this card can represent Pisces, 
because there's a fish here in the cut. So Pisces might be strong in your chart or around this reading. So Cancers, next to the page of cups, being stuck in this energy here of, you know, wondering about the love. Um, you're hanging on to your cup pretty tight, is the Ten of Pentacles. This is under that Ten of Swords. So there was a relationship. This is a prior relationship. I don't know if it was with the same person or not, uh, that you were committed in. It fell apart, apparently, with this Ten of Swords right here. And you found out that the love wasn't the love that you thought it was. And so that's another thing you have on your mind that's keeping you stuck in this, in this place of um, disappointment over love. Uh, this was a committed relationship. It might have been a marriage. You might have just lived under the same roof. But you were seen as a couple by everyone. And it was really a stable and secure relationship at one point until something happened. And um, it turned out that they, and you feel like they only had a page of cups for you. Let's take out the second half of the reading. Let's find out what's transpiring here. For our cancers. And here we go. Wow. Ah. Okay. Here's your card. Um, okay, well, up here in your highest energy, remember I said that you had a huge cup of love? Here it is, again. It's whether or not you want to hand it out. It, it almost feels like you will be handing that cup out. <laughs> Look, the hand is outreached here. And love runneth over. It's right next to the Six of Swords, having all this truth, all this clarity. And being able to leave rocky waters behind and move forward towards a more peaceful place in your life. It's not really fast moving energy, but it does move forward. And you're not alone on that boat. It's next to the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is like saying, you know, I think you bring up what it is that's keeping you stuck. I think you actually talk about it's hard for you to do. This is hard. You talk about your past, you talk about um, your feelings, um, you know, male or female. It, it's, it's like, you know you need to talk about it. Because I think they want to move forward with you. You're holding on to this staff and new beginnings and fresh starts. So I, I really think that you need to have this discussion and it takes willpower uh, in order to have it, in order to move forward with them and in order to be comfortable in handing out your love. Under the Ace of Cups is the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is really close to this Ten of Swords here, the pain. Well, there's a lot of confusion and stress and anxiety associated with the love, you know, in handing it out. So I think that's why you have this conversation. It's right next to the Eight of Wands, which is about the conversation. This is texting, emailing, whatever talking on the phone, but there's a lot to be talked about here uh, in order to be able to move forward uh, with this best friend and soulmate over here. And they do have love for you. And it's going to be truthful conversation. These are things that need to come out. And it's not only you that is talking about you, but you're going to ask about them. It's a back and forth conversation. Right under the page of wands, you're going to start it, I believe, because this is a near energy, and I really think it's going to be like, let's talk, you know. I, I need to talk about some things that I've been through you might not know about, and, um, you know, let's, let's just talk about each other. So under the five of wands, all that stress, all that confusion about the love, it's really got you stressed out. Um... We have the Three of Cups. This is reunion. This is coming together. These, this is a really happy time. So I, I, I feel like you are coming together. And the love is like growing uh, between you two because of all this honest conversation. There's a lot of trust being built here. 
I think you might have known this person before. This person might have caused these swords. There's two different scenarios I see here. Either this is someone new in your life or someone old in your life. All right. Uh, because the devil card is here. This is the card for Capricorn. Capricorn might be strong in your chart. might be strong around this reading. Um, but this is about toxic energy. And this is something that needs to be talked about. See, the, it's next to the Three of Cups, which is joyful. And then we have three people in this card, which is toxic. So I think uh, whatever, if this is the same person, somebody else, um, or someone that you already know, that you've had experiences with this Ten of Swords, there was probably a third person involved, or a third something that was toxic to this relationship. Well, look at the devil waving goodbye. I think it's the end of that, and that is going to come up in this conversation. And that's going to make you very happy. That's going to make you feel free, much freer to hand out that huge cup of love you have for this person. So next to the devil card is the chariot. There you are. This is your card. Moving forward is the energy. And moving forward pretty fast. But not moving forward till after you have all this conversation about them about you and your feelings their feelings what they expect what you expect um uh it is a coming together i believe it's a really joyful coming together but there are things that need to be taken care of for this relationship to move forward with love let's see what card comes up i'm taking one extra oh my gosh the ten of cups yeah this is union between two people. Tons of love, back and forth, sharing it. This is a family situation. One of you already might have a kid or two. And um, it looks like you're moving forward. It looks like you're getting all of this worked out. You're going to be able to hand out that giant cup of love. And it all depends on getting through the past or getting through uh, either your past or both of your pasts. So, wow, Cancer, this is your reading. 